I'm going to show you how to cross cables without a cable needle. This is a very popular method um, because it's faster and easier in some circumstances. I use it when I'm only crossing a couple of stitches over each other. I don't use it when I have three or more stitches. At least with my knitting, it's too tight to comfortably do it without a cable needle when it's three or more stitches being crossed over three or more stitches. So these stitches in my knitting are about to get crossed. These two are about to get crossed over this purl stitch. The purl will come behind and be purled, then these two knit. Usually with a cable needle, we'd stick them in and lean, let them hang to the front to do this. But instead, without a cable needle, what I'll be doing is I'm just gonna grab this stitch from behind and I'm going to slip this slip these stitches off the needle and then quickly back onto the left needle, um, removing this stitch in the process. Ready? Here we go. Voila. And now replace this on the left needle to work these three stitches. Notice I didn't jostle the knitting while I did this maneuver. If you jostle the knitting while these two stitches are homeless, not on the needle, then they're bound to twist around and become difficult to place back on the needle. But in that circumstance, they're very easy. And that's all there is to it. I'll do another one on this side. In this case, these two are going to be crossed in front of the purl stitch. I'll do this right hand English style for you English knitters. So coming in front this time to cross these two See, I'm, I'm reaching for whatever stitches are on the inside of the work with this right needle, grabbing them, slipping uh, the remaining stitch towards the front of the tip of the left needle will just get slipped off and then back onto the left needle. That's always the case, whether you're grab, but the only difference is sometimes you grab the work from the front and sometimes you grab from the back, depending on if you're doing a left or right twist. Okay, so here we go. These are going in front. I'm not going not gonna to jostle the knitting, so I'm getting it close to the tip so that it's uh, easier to do all of this at once. So off and then on. And replace. Then knit these two. Now see how they're all bunched together? That's one of the problems that when you don't have a cable needle and you cram them all back onto the left needle, they get very tight together and can be hard to work. So it's not ideal in all circumstances, but I can handle a few scrunched up stitches. So knit two and then yarn forward, purl. Okay. And yarn back. That's all there is to crossing cables without a cable needle. Enjoy.